Thief the Dark Project Gold Short Game Review. You take on the role of Garrett, a streetwise thief who has more skills than the average bear, I mean thief, and you're kind of just making your way, just stealing stuff, in the middle of this big conflict between the the hammers, which are this monotheistic order of, of power and science, human progress, and the pagans who worship nature and have this god of mischief, who, yeah, you, you can't really, yeah, ca order and chaos. And then in the middle you have the keepers who, Illuminati style-ish, try to maintain balance between the two. But Garrett isn't really on any of these sides. You are called upon to steal something very specific, and that kind of sets the plot in motion. For a while, this is more about fleshing out the world than telling a story, but there is a plot, and it is a plot-driven game where every level connects to the other. First level has you stealing something, second level has you breaking your fence out of prison so that he can repay you for the thing that you stole from in the first level. It's just a, yeah, no spoilers, don't worry. And the whole game is like that, with everything connecting like that, but without the plot taking too much charge, and it maintains stealth as the... It, it, it doesn't really force you to suddenly take on an action role, like many stealth games do. And it's a quite satisfying story, very well thought out. The game uses light and sound to allow you to hide and sneak past guards without social stealth. And it's one of the first proper physics engines in addition to light and sound being properly integrated. And the clever part about all this is that not only do you use shadow and very quiet surfaces to hide your presence, but you also use the opposite, especially noisier surfaces, to tell where guards are. If you, for example, have to sneak down a hallway which is very well lit, you might be hiding in a room part of the way through the hallway and you can hear the guard passing by on the outside. You don't have like a, a little radar that tells you where enemies are. You yourself have to listen for their footsteps or if they're standing still they'll hum or clear their throat or talk amongst themselves and the like. It also does support emergent gameplay which means that if you do get spotted you're not really penalized, you just have to deal with it. And while you have a sword, you're not really a fighter. You don't have armor, and yeah, you're not trained to fight off a, a lot of people, whereas these guards, that's what they do. The game subverts your expectations at pretty much every turn, and whilst, of course, a few of these do not work out perfectly, the game does tend to really have you just rolling with all of this, and it's, it's a ton of fun how you never know where to go. The game is tough stealth, and whilst there, there are three difficulty settings, it really is only for the people who love stealth and who have the patience required. And that's not at all an insult. I myself have trouble with this at some times. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, It'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.